What's up guys, it's Harleywood. As you can see, I'm a little bit of a fan. So if you've been watching this channel for any period of time, you have seen Gators sunglasses going back, I don't know, two or three years at this point. Uh, at the end of this video, I'm gonna roll in just a bunch of random ass footage that I have pulled from various reviews and videos I've done over the years and just show you how extensively I have used these things. Now, I was lucky enough to meet these guys at SHOT Show 2020. They are a super nice group of people and lucky for me, I was able to kind of strike up a deal to do a review for you guys, including them sending me a pair to kind of sacrifice in a ballistic test. But I think we all know what happened, right? They said, man, this guy looks good in our glasses. We gotta get him as a brand ambassador. Don't eat the crust. And this one hurt to do a little bit. So I shot these up with a BB gun powered up to 650 feet per second. Uh, it's a little bit below what these are rated for. They're rated for 725 feet per second, I think. And these are the new sky hooks. These are actually my wife's and she absolutely loves them. So a note for the ladies and as guys, especially me having no hair, I would never know this. Apparently girls have a lot of problems with sunglasses and the eyepiece right here. If it has that little piece of wire that just has that little foot on there, I'll try to roll in a picture of what I'm talking about. But oftentimes when girls put these up on top of their head, their hair gets wrapped in that. And then when they go to pull them down, it yanks hair out of the top of their head. And my wife said she was kind of nervous that these were gonna have that problem. But when she saw the eyepiece that was used, she's worn these for, I don't know, five or six weeks now. And she said she has absolutely no problem with them. My wife is also pretty small. Like if she were standing here, she's actually not even as tall as the hood of my truck. She has a small head and she was able to adjust these. So all Gator sunglasses are adjustable. So they are these aluminum frames and there's instructions on the website, but basically you can very gently squeeze them in in order to put more pressure on your head in key places, all right? Including the eyepiece. So the eyepiece has a lot of adjustability to it also. You can either widen it or pinch it a little more narrow like my wife's is there. Now they have a huge lineup with tons of different lens options, all right? They recently came out with a set of shooting glasses. So not only ballistic rated, but they also have a lens that is ideal for shooting. I'm gonna roll in a real quick little video clip right here and show you. I had an orange target set up at, I don't know, 25, 30 yards, and I just put these up, uh, up and down in front of the lens of the camera, and you can see how it makes the orange and certain shadows and highlights pop a little bit better. They also have different colors for the frames themselves, so they have Cerakote options. This is a white option. These are the Deltas. These are the Magnums, so those are the only two uh, styles that I rock. My wife has the sky hooks and I have a bunch of magnums and deltas. And then they also have their logo on the side. You can see it right there and it comes in several different options. So like these white ones, for example, come with an option for a black logo on the side or all ghosted out white. And then they have some special editions. You can see the American flag right there. What looks better on me, the deltas or those magnums? I don't know, man, those magnums are pretty sick. And I've also done a lot of shooting with both my Magnums and my Deltas. Now, until a couple weeks ago, I did not have the ballistic sets, all right? I've been using my regular ones and I've been lucky, but now I have ballistic sets. Let's go ahead and roll in some of the footage testing this set of Magnums here. Six oh seven. Oh man, it knocked off my ballistic sticker. All right took it like a champ right there. There's a little tiny bulge on the backside, but they are not cracked, shattered, nothing. All right, we're gonna shoot the same lens again. Let's do two more, 13, 14. No idea what the FPS on that is. Probably approaching 700. So I hit it right on 
the, the top right there, but it did not go through. Your eye would have survived. Let's take a look at the lens. Yep, right there on the frames. Let's see how many feet per second 15 is. So about 650 feet per second. Again, just a little tiny bulge on the backside. All right, and it's worth noting, the rating on these is for a single shot. The fact that these took multiple hits, it's kind of like when you crash, you have to replace your kid's car seat, or if you fall on your bike and you hit your head, you replace your helmet. Same thing with these. That is what the rating requires. So they actually overperformed versus what they're rated for. Well, there's a link in the description below. If you check out the website, there's tons of other different styles and lens options, polarized, non-polarized, ballistic rated, non-ballistic rated, shooting lenses, mirrored lenses, all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna put a link in the description below for you guys to check them out. If you've watched my channel for any period of time, you'll know that I am big into branding. So I've worked in digital advertising for many, many years. YouTube is just a hobby, not my day job. So they do a really good job of branding. There are hard case options like you see here with a little soft sleeve inside. And I saw this at SHOT Show 2020. Coming very soon, some of their special editions will be in this little tiny ammo can. I mean, look, look at it. It even operates like an ammo can. And it is waterproof. Look, it even has the waterproof seal at the top there. Dude, <laughs> I love it. So what is my relationship with Gators? Well, they did send me the set for my wife. They sent me another set personally for myself, and then they sent me the test to sacrifice for the ballistic testing. Other than that, I have bought all of my own Gators myself over the past several years. So I'm showing you something that I am actually very fond of. And again, I'm gonna put a link in the description below, tons of different options, check them out. All right, and if you're still with me, here comes some of that video footage of me just using them in all kinds of different scenarios over the past several years. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, do me a favor, give it a like down below, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I do a ton of giveaways. And in fact, if there's a lot of traffic on this one, a lot of likes on this one, maybe they'll sponsor a giveaway set. So give it a like down below. Appreciate your time watching. I'll see you in the next one. Are you hot? It's bright. Is that better? Good job. Thank you.